Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Amber's annual concert. I'm Angela Voyajolu. I'm the CEO of the Amber Trust. Um, thank you so much for coming. This is an amazing audience we have today. Um, thank you for coming to support the young musicians who are going to play for you today. Um, your being here also supports the 600 children we work with across the UK, so thank you so much. Adam Ockelford, who you've met, is the chair and founder of the Amber Trust. He's going to be your host this afternoon, and we're in for an incredible afternoon of music. So thank you so, so much again for coming. <laughs> Adam. Thanks, Angela. It's um, really good, really good to see so many people. Um, you're really in for um, an amazing treat today. I think one of the nicest things about running concerts every year is watching young people grow up and develop and mature and leave us indeed, which is it's important as well. Um, but it's, it really is amazing to see how, how much the young people have progressed. And I think this is the first year when I'm not going to play a thing, so that's really good. So you'd be pleased to know. But Derek, do you want to come and kick the concert off? Hey. So, Derek, you were the inspiration behind the Amber Trust about 30 years ago, and you're still here today, so that's very good. Still here today, that's good. Now, you're going to start by playing us two Georges. Two Georges. Do you know what they are? I do know what they are, Adam. That's Georgia on my mind and sweet Georgia Brown. Yay, here we go. Yay.
um, Angela was very keen to get the program printed about a month ago. I said, don't do that, Angela, because things always change. And things have changed today, but we always don't, we don't change for the worse. We change for the better or for the different. So Eleanor Stoller is here somewhere. Here she is. Eleanor is going to tell us what's going to change. The very first thing. And I need Ashley to come up. Hi, Eleanor. Here you go, Sorry, everyone, I couldn't sing today. As you can probably tell, I've got a bit of a cold. Um, but the amazing Amber Trust have supported me throughout all of my singing lessons. And I managed to do my grade two singing exam and got a distinction, so. <laughs> And uh, Ashley is going to play the piece that I was going to be singing, Once Upon a December, from Anastasia, with some clever improvising <laughs> without me. Don't hold on, you've got the wire right It's all happening. So, Ashley, thanks, Eleanor. Ashley's very kindly agreed to play. Eleanor's part, as well as her own part. It took some negotiating, but <laughs> she's agreed. Well done, Ashley. I think it's, you know, the, the young people make making music seem so easy, but actually what they're doing is really, really clever. And what you're doing is very clever, Ash. Here we go. Thanks very much, Ashley. Now for something that is on the program. Somewhere is Lily Karata, I think. Here she is. Lily, it's wonderful to see you 
again, now in your last year at school, and um, you're someone at the Junior Royal Academy of Music. Yes. So we've got two people, Poppy as well will be here. And what are you going to play for us? So I will be playing Chopin's Nocturne in D flat major. Thank you very much.
Lily, thank you. That was just amazing. You can really tell when you're communicating with the audience, when everyone is so quiet. Fantastic. Now we've got another young man who we've known for many years. This is Ivan. And you're going to do one of my favorite pieces, I think. Today I'm going to be playing the Courant from Suite Number no. Three by Bach. Thanks very much, Shivan.
Thanks so much, Ivan. Fantastic. It's amazing the sounds that Bach gets out of a single instrument. It sounds like a whole string quartet playing sometimes. Thank you very much. Now we have someone I've known slightly less long who... Why can I not see Chapman? Where is he? There he is. Hi, Chapman. Chapman came across from Hong Kong about 15 or 16 months ago. And in that time, Chapman has learned English. He knows every single tube stop for a start, which is more than I do. And he's also, his piano playing's come on amazingly, hasn't it, Chapman? Um, I, no, don't sit down yet. I'm, um, I was in contact with uh, Regan, your father, when you were in Hong Kong. And um, he said, where should I go in the world to have my son educated? And I said, come to London. Educate. Come to London, it's a great place. Indeed. And I didn't quite expect them to come and live next door to us, which is what happened. <laughs> which is what happened. <laughs> Anyhow, it was great. They've now, you've now moved about 200 yards away, so that's good. Anyhow, Chapman, what are you going to play for us? What piece are you going to play? Uh, you remember? Yes, please. Okay, here we go then.
Well done, Chapman. Chapman, that was an amazing piece. It's so complicated with all those chords. And um, like many of the children here today, Chapman learns everything by listening. So you think some of those chords had eight notes in. That's a lot of listening. Well done, Chapman. Fantastic. Thank you. Now we've got a new person. I'm delighted to introduce you to Sasha, who's got her clarinet. So this is going to be a trio. We've got Ashley on her pre-programmed keyboard. I, the, the, the real amazing thing is not so much Ashley playing the keyboard, but seeing her family lug it around the country <laughs> and deconstruct it and reconstruct it. It's, it's like a major computer. And we've got our great friend Daniel come all the way from up north to play the, um, the bass. And we've got Sasha as well, who's going to I'm going to play Alfie's theme. You need to remind me how it starts, Ashley. Ashley's got about a thousand buttons to press. There we go. Ashley was enjoying your playing so much, she just carried on. <laughs> That's Ashley for you. Right, 
Now the next piece is called Broadway. Sasha, fantastic. I think everyone really enjoyed that. When they clap like that, it normally means an encore, but we couldn't do all those steps again, could we? Thank you so much. And thank you, Ashley, for working all of that out. Now, my young friend Benjamin here. Ben? Is it Benjamin or Ben? I don't mind. You don't mind? Okay. <laughs> Derek's decided it's Ben. Okay. And you're going to play an extra piece. You're going to play an Allemande by... Allegro Moderato by Grieg. Yay, thank you very much, man. Thank you. 
Fantastic. Thank you, Benjamin. I'm glad you did the two pieces. That was really good. Now, no concert would be complete, would it, without Lily Mellon? <laughs> We've got three Lilies today. How many too many Lilies is that? <laughs> Lily, Lily, hello. What are you going to sing for us? Come, don't talk yet because we haven't got the microphone. It's you. Here we go. You're going to sing wish, When You Wish Upon a Star, I think. You're nervous, I don't think you are. Are you? Okay. I sort of believe you. Here we go. Here's a nice microphone. Now I am going to be singing When You Wish Upon a Star. <laughs> We'll have the third lily and more of the second lily later. Now, Ashley, you're going to do some Gershwin for us, aren't you? Hey, my name is Ashley Turley. And this, I'm afraid this song isn't in the grade eight syllabus anymore. <laughs> and it's, um, it's a grade eight standard. Everyone thinks you might have known it was in the grade eight syllabus four years ago, it was called Gershwin Prayed Number One. Yeah. <laughs> luckily, luckily, Ashley, Gershwin didn't write it for the Grade 8 syllabus. <laughs> it has an existence beyond Grade 8. All right. <laughs>
Don't disappear, Ashley. I want to embarrass you. The, um, that's fantastic. When you see Ashley leaping about the piano, it's amazing. I remember, Ashley, when you first came for lessons, you refused to make your left hand jump up and down like strides, didn't you? Do you remember? And I had to pretend to get it wrong many for many hours before you did. Do you remember that? And now look at you, flying all over the keyboard. It's really fantastic. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, soon we'll have the interval, but before then, we've got a real treat that involves Ashley and... I haven't got my program. Rihanna! Hooray! Here she is. I'm going to be singing Constant Craving.
Fantastic. Thank you. A great end to the first half. Thank you, Ashley, as well, for working all of those buttons out. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've got 20 minutes for a quick break. And we've got lots and lots of lovely things in the second half. So, see you in 20 minutes. Thanks very much, Derek, for keeping us warm during the interval. Now for something completely different, as they say. Um, Nikhil, I think you're going to wow us with your drumming. I think Ashley's going to join us. And I think Lily Bartlett's going to join us. That's fine. We're going to go straight into the eye of the tiger.
Well done, well done. I think there are a few feet tapping. Yes. yes. Right. Now we've got a, a, new, a new person, new to me. Hi, Izzy. You've come, you've been, had a busy weekend already, haven't you? I was having a busy weekend. I'm dressed uniquely right. as Princess Pearl from... Hi, I'm Izzy Fingers. Well, Izzy King, obviously, but I'm Izzy Fingers. <laughs> I'm dressed uniquely as Princess Pearl from Zog and the Flying Doctors, but I'm going to play in two pieces now. One is a ballad and the other is an up-tempo. So... The first piece that you're going to hear is one by Michael Flanders and Donald Swan, also known as Flanders and Swan. And they're like a comedy duo who wrote the Hippopotamus song, but we're not going to sing it. Uh, mud, mud, glory, smart. <laughs> Can I just give a little background context? It's The Slow Train by Flanders and Swan. This has been dedicated to Julia Donaldson, who is the author of The Gruffalo. And she selected that piece on her Desert Island Discs playlist. So, Julia, this is for you. So you're going to tell us about your second piece. So true was beautiful, but I'm working on Julia Donaldson, a biography at the moment, which is a radio drama. But the second piece, let's speed up the tempo, is from a Disney film called, it's an obscure one, it's called The Aristocats. 
and it's everybody wants to be a cat, but we're going to do it in the style of Mr. Scott Joplin. piece from? Where did you get the Scott Joplin style of Aristocats? Five years ago. Wow. What, you mean you made it up? <laughs> yes, it is. Wow, it's amazing. That's very, very witty. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. really was amazing. Now, Lily Bartlett, Lily number two, Ashley number 157, here we go. Right. Yeah, it's all right. You're going to do something from Six the Musical, Heart of Stone. So for anyone who's not seen the show before, so this is all about the six wives of King Henry VIII, ladies and gentlemen. So, so the wife who sings it is number three in the, in the catalogue. So her name is Jane Seymour. So it's Heart of Stone by Jane Seymour.
Well done. Hey, well done, Nadine. Well done, Ashley. Well done, well done, Lily, well done, Ashley. Now then, it wouldn't be an Amber concert without Poppy, would it? Poppy. Poppy, I think you've been around the Amber Trust for 10 years or so? Yeah, pretty much, since I was, a, since I was about eight. Yes. Wow. Yes, that's amazing. Almost over half your life, in fact. Yeah. <laughs> and um, do you know, guess how much, do you know how much money you've raised? 14,000 pounds. And also, Poppy, you come and help out on the Linden Lodge summer scheme every year and some other concerts we do with young people on the autism spectrum. So thank you very much indeed. Now then, you were going to play something. David is in Lavender, but we've decided for one of those improvements in the program. So we're going to do Salut de Moor by Elgar. This needs music. This is serious stuff. Okay. So, Poppy, um, it's a great year for you because you got a scholarship to the Royal Academy of Music, which is fantastic, as well as everything else. And people at these concerts often say, could Poppy do something? So, what are you going to do? 
I'm going to play Restitivo and Scherzo Caprice by Chrysler. Well, I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's got an awful lot of black marks on that paper. <laughs>
So, thank you very much, Poppy. We'll end the concert as we began with, with Derek. With Derek. <laughs> yeah. And there's time for two or three or four requests. Requests. For Derek. For Derek. And a lady's put her hand up straight away at the back. Light of the Bumblebee. The light of the Bumblebee. And take five. Oh, hold on. Who's in control? Let's do Flight of the Bumblebee first. Flight of the Bumblebee first. Which note are you going to start on, Derek? On D sharp. Okay. Do you actually know which one that is? Do. Victoria, a lady sitting next to you. What would you like, Victoria? Uh, the swan. The swan. Can do the swan. Yes, okay. The swan. Yeah, we can certainly do the swan. It's we just quite long. Maybe we'll do the first part of the swan. The first part of the swan. Just one wing of the swan. <laughs>
what we got? Both wings and the beak, I think. Um, right, a couple of quick ones, Derek, and then we've got the finale. And then we've got the finale, a quick one. Someone did say t- take five. We can do take five by Dave Rubin. It's going to have to be quite fast, Derek. It is, okay. <laughs> Ignore some ye. I'm going to choose Poppy. Go on. Tiger Rag. Tiger Rag. Okay. can do Tiger Rag in the style of Art Tatum. Here we go. <laughs> to the end. The, the last number involves the audience, Derek. Yes. We've got Ivan on cello, Daniel on bass. We've got Lily and Poppy on violins. We've got Lily, 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 Lily on microphone. We've got Derek on piano. We've got Chapman on piano, we've got Izzy on piano, we've got Benjamin on piano, we've got Nikhil on drums, we've got Ashley on saxophone. And best of all, we've got Mr. Johnny Sterling on trumpet or cornet or something. Show them what it is, Johnny, it looks very small. Look at that. The good news is it's not very loud, so it's fine. So, it's, what we're going to do, we're going to sing 
the voice song through and you've got the words, so there's no excuse. And then some of the children are going to have a go improvising and then we'll all join in at the end. Ha ha, that's what's probably going to happen. So here we go, Derek, it's your intro. Oh, I got to announce it.